If you'd like to purchase Magic Online cards at competitive prices, check out our web store at mtgoacademy.com slash store. Hi folks, it's Jason Moore here, and we are playing the very first match of Azorius Kitty versus Popper Domain. A big thank you to Chris Cool from MTGO Academy as well for playing. He's going to play first, and I think this hand looks quite good for us. We don't have our third and fourth lands to start getting the Stalker and the Seagate Oracle online, but we do have Preordains and Journey to Nowhere to stay afloat. He's probably leading on a fetch land, as we see. And I think now that we have a two-drop creature, we're not sure what we want to preordain for. Obviously lands, but I, I prefer going with Crossroads here. I think his turn two is probably going to be some kind of threat or an enchantment. So we're going to go ahead and lead on Crossroads and pass the turn. I'm going to F6. So we don't have a lot to Dreamstalker yet. We do have this Lone Missionary. We may need to cast a Preordain on turn three. And he leads with a mountain, so he's going to play a forest. And what has he got here? An Abundant Growth. We're going to F6 once again. Draws a card off of that. And now he's got access to all of his colors. So probably, oh, I was going to say an, a Nakadal, but not so. We do have a Chancery here. But I still think we want to play Lone Missionary. Chancery does get a Seagate Oracle, but Seagate Oracle is going to be a little obsolete because he's going to land probably an Aura Narlid next turn. Some, some kind of big creature, a Rioters. So I think we'll just go with the Lone Missionary. Next turn we have a lot of options still. We can play any of these guys. And we can also... Hang on. Yeah, that's my land drop, right? Yeah, that is my land drop. We're on the draw and he just played a second land. We can Dreamstalker the Missionary, we can Journey his Threat, we can Preordain and Bounce. So, okay, a core Skyfisher. That, I don't think I'm interested in bouncing yet. Does he have a third land? Will be our question. He's got a Threat down and we don't have anything to, we can do about it other than Journey. But I'm, I don't think we need to use it just yet. And I don't think we need to stalker away the missionary, though we can if we want. Okay, so we have a plane, so our fourth land, our fourth mana drop is definitely going to happen. We can also bounce the chancery and just gain as much life as possible. So we'll be gaining six more in addition. Preordain, I don't think we need to use yet. So uh, I think the worst play is either journeying his guy or playing Seagate Oracle. I think I just want to gain as much life as possible, so that would include bouncing the Lone Missionary and bouncing the Crossroads. So we'll play two cards and get two cards back. We'll be up at seven. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. So we're going to gain a ton of life, which is good. And next turn, we won't be able to resolve serrated arrows. Well, we can if we want to. We can resolve a serrated arrows. He's going to sack again. I'm definitely bouncing the crossroads here. And there it goes. And we will pass. Still got a lot of play, a lot of things we can do. And he's just now resolving his, his first threat. We're going to gain about six life. We have six life in hand, and this looks like the replayed Abundant Growth. I'm once again going to pass priority. He does not have a Nylea's Presence yet, but he is getting, he has four of his five lands already, so that's solid for him. And another Core Sky Fisher. So now he's going to engage in the air. We're going to go to 24. All right, so spreading seas. I don't know if it does very much for us. It does get his one of his two green sources, but that doesn't seem very good. So I'm not interested in casting spreading seas right now. 
I think I am interested in casting Preordain because any of the other plays we decide to make, we still have the mana to do. So let's Preordain and see what we want to do about these, uh, these guys. We have a Core Skyfisher, which is going to block his Core Skyfishers, and we have a Kabira Crossroads. And I think these are both fine. What we can do is cast a lone missionary this turn, play, the, play our own Kabira Crossroads, and, um, and draw the Core Skyfisher next turn. So I think we're going to keep both, just to buy us more time. We're not going to check him for... Actually, we may check him for Piracy Charm. He knows we're playing it, so there's a chance he'll let us get in. Oops. Oh, he just snapped blocks, so he's not playing around Piracy Charm. This is a... Uh, this is sort of a mind game. So we don't actually have it, but we kind of see that he either doesn't remember that we have Piracy Charm, or he has some way of recurring his guy anyway, and he doesn't really care. So next turn we are drawing the Core Skyfisher. And I think we can bounce Lone Missionary if we want. We can also draw some cards with Spreading Seas, but we're not in too, too bad of shape at the moment. So he's replaying the Abundant Growth. Both of us are... We're not drawing cards necessarily, getting up on cards, but we are getting value out of the cards we have. And we are sandbagging this journey to nowhere. The Spreading Seas won't do very much for us <clears throat> if we use it offensively. We can play it on our own lands, which is certainly fine. Here's Nylia's Presence, and I'm not sure how this works when we Spreading Seas the island, or Spreading Seas this Nylia's Presence land. So he's got two mana left, but all of his all of his stuff is turned on. Okay, we're going to 26. Oh. And he's scredding our guy. So we're not actually going to replay that. Um, I'm not sure what we do with the journey now, or the core skyfisher now. We can preordain and bounce either a Crossroads or a Spreading Seas after we play it. I think we want to preordain first. This could be another Scred. He blew that first Scred pretty quickly. So let's preordain. He's got five cards. This could Basically, he's representing Scred or Brainstorm. So we'll keep that in mind. He's used up three fetches so far. We have a Reality Acid. That's a great draw. And another Dream Stalker. So I think we'll keep this, and what we can do is uh, probably hold the Reality Acid so we can use it all in one turn. Because he has a chance to bust it with a Pride Mage. And we can actually just blow up his core Skyfishers. We can start blowing up his lands. I kind of like the idea of maybe blowing up his lands, but we'll see what happens. I think we're going to keep both of these. And we do have the Skyfisher, but I don't think I'm going to play it this turn. I may just Spreading Seas my own island and draw the, um... no, I think I'll play the Seagate Oracle, even though we want to draw the Dream Stalker. We want to start clocking him to some degree, so. Next turn, we're definitely making some kind of Reality Acid play, and that's going to be pretty good for us. Yeah, I think we want the Stalker over Sandbar. Spell over the land that could also be a spell. All right, 26, and we'll F6. I think we're looking okay, but now he's going to start making the more powerful threats, and that's going to be a little dangerous. But we'll get a lot of value out of this. This is Rioters. Oh, he's going to Dryad his Skyfisher, which looks like a good play. So we can blow up the Dryad at this point. He hasn't made any other plays, so he's sitting on Scred and Unearth and stuff. He can unearth the dryad. I'm really not sure what I wanted what I want to blow up. We could just start blowing up his lands. Uh, we have we definitely have time to uh, to color screw him because we have so much life. We're at 22. I mean, he's hitting us for six. 
it's going to take a full three turns to blow up these lands. And we can block this one. So we could blow up the Dryad right now, right? And then blow up his Skyfisher next turn. But I think he's going to have Unearth. We're not too worried about Unearth on this guy, though. So maybe we do just blow that up. And we have two Reality Assets coming in. We have three, four, five, six mana. So I think we'll attack first. Again, he only has Scred or Brainstorm right now. And we'll go ahead and blow up the Leaf Crown Dryad. Or we can start blowing up the lands. But we only have two bounce effects right now. So blowing up the lands is not, not the greatest option. And we're going to represent Piracy Charm. That's enchanting the Leaf Crown Dryad, right? Yes. I think this is our strongest play. Even if he has Unearth. Make sure we click on the Reality Acid. And we'll pass. He may scred our Skyfisher here. Looks like he's thinking about it. If he unearths this, it's fine because we have plenty of blockers. And he has one more Leaf Crown Dryad in the deck, I believe. Yep, there's a Scred. I will let that resolve. So we have virtually two and a half removal spells because we have the Journey. We have... Okay, he's going to unearth it. So he is sitting on unearth. Probably not... I mean, he might be sitting on Brainstorm, just not sure what he wants to do with it. He may also have... Tribal Flames. So we're at 18. I think 18's feeling pretty safe. He's going to cast Unearth. Yep. So now we can leave a guy back. Well, we're going to have the Dreamstalker back. He can again block here. We may want to Spreading Seas first if we have enough of the right color. I think we're going to spreading seas a planes because we want to use blue three times here. Right? Yes. So, and what are we going to blow up? We can blow up his Nihilus Presence. It turns his domain down to three. That seems actually fairly good. However, these guys are going to be a problem too. He may have another copy of Unearth. I think we have time not to not to try for that. We can try and color screw him, I think. Okay, so are we going to attack? I think we attack as well. Oh, we should have we should have cast spreading seas first. That was, that's a mistake, but um, that's okay. I think we're still going to attack. So I kind of mapped out how I want to do this. I'm going to Spreading Seas my own land. We have a Preordain, but I don't want to use it. So we're going to Acid this land. And we're going to bounce it with... Hopefully I clicked on the land. Yes, I did. We're going to bounce it with Dreamstalker. That'll get his domain turned down. He may actually scred our guy in response. It doesn't look like he's going to. We have two more copies of Reality Acid left. Going to F6. Oh, what was that? Oh, he just cycled and unearth. Yeah, the unearths aren't doing a whole lot, but they will be. Um, oh, he got another one. So, this is interesting. Well, he's got plenty of lands. I don't know that that plan was actually <laughs> worth it. We're still taking a bunch in the air, but we have time. We definitely have time here. We're at 14. I mean, we got to worry about... 
tribal flames at this point, which he's he has at least one in his hand. We got to be realistic. Yep, just to the face, he, he may have more than one. <laughs> and we're at nine, so we want to start thinking about removing his flyers. And there's a momentary blink, which is actually huge, because we can now permanently exile some of his stuff. He may have a third scred, but we don't lose a whole lot there. This is really interesting. I don't think we send any attackers in. So I think we want to get rid of these two guys. We could also blink a land. We can, so we have two, four, five, six, seven mana. So we can journey, blink, journey again. That's six mana. And st we still have mana for preordain. So I think we want to do that. Though the... Um, a scred does kind of screw our plans up a little bit. I'm going to check my connection because right now I'm not sure what's going on. Yeah, may have a connection issue here. So I'm going to pause the video and we'll come right back. Hey guys, we are back here. I apologize for the disconnect, but we're going to go ahead and make this play. We're going to preordain first though. So the way this works is you cast Journey that enters the battlefield trigger, goes on the stack, you blink the Dream Stalker, which then bounces the journey, so the leaves the battlefield trigger resolves before the enters the battlefield trigger resolves. And that permanently exiles this core Skyfisher. The journey comes back to our hand. Uh-oh. Okay, so Chris is actually re recording this as well. I didn't know. And uh, we've lost a lot of time on our clock. Unfortunately, but that's this deck is uh, very decision intensive. But it'll be cool to see both sides of this encounter, which I, I'm looking forward to. I don't know what that means. He messed up and missed turns. Hmm. Oh, maybe his recording, he missed some of the turns that, that occurred during the game. Okay, so what are we looking for with this preordain? Probably more ways to bounce stuff, and Kabira Crossroads is also not bad. I have not played a land this turn, so I think we're going to keep the Crossroads just to keep us alive. And another momentary blink is good because of the synergy with Reality Acid. Okay, so here we go. We're going to attempt this. It's going to be very interesting. Do I need to hold priority? I'm holding control. Hopefully that works. Yeah, it looks like it might work. I hope he does not have a scred. I'm going to let go of priority. And now I'm going to return the journey and hope that that does what I need it to do. Yeah, looks like it's going to work. So there goes Skyfisher number one, and we're going to journey away Skyfisher number two, and it appears he does not have Scred, so I think I am going to attack with two of my guys, and, and from there we can just kind of nuke his board. He may have double double tribal flames, but that doesn't kill us. So if he rips us if he rips a scred and then also has double tribal flames, we'll lose. But otherwise I think we're looking good. We're drawing another momentary blink. He just passes. So now we can kill the dryad or we can start killing his lands. And how many lands can we kill? Only three, five. We can kill t one and then enchant the other. I don't know that that's the best option. I think we just want to start taking out his guys. Even if he had an earth, I'm not, uh, I'm not too concerned. And we have... We have more where this came from, so I think it's okay to just do this. 
And we can just start clocking him. He's going to scred his own guy. So that gets rid of the reality acid. And now I can return the Kabira crossroads. Or the spreading seas. Do we want to get a land or do we want to get the life? I think we'll get the life. I really like playing just super safe. And uh, try to make sure that we don't die to any crazy amount of reach. So there goes one of the reality acids. We do have another one. And he, com he comes out with a wild Nicodle. We can also blow that up. Um, any other plays we can make? I mean, there are. But I do like just taking his guy out. And trying to put a clock on him. <laughs> I should have played my land there because we want well I'll do that I'll do that right now so we have the flashback available just making sure that guy's gonna attack he's at 11 so we're winning the race ostensibly and he's a little flooded here it's so another journey to nowhere. I think we'll just attack and we don't need to do anything until he resolves a uh, permanent. We could draw some more cards, but I want to save this journey for a, a rainy day. Looks like compulsive research be my guess. Yep. I have no counter magic in my deck. He binned a land, so he's very flooded. He's at eight. There's a Kasali Pride Mage? Yes. And this can get rid of the Journey to Nowhere, which I can then bounce with the Momentary Blink. Oh, this is so disgusting. Here comes Abundant Growth. But we can't Reality Acid the Pride Mage. There's a Wild Nicodle. Okay, so this is really interesting because there's a number of things that, that are at work here. There's a Mole Drifter, so I think we may just want to start with that. We still have the four mana left over. And we can make some crazy blocks. We can also just start clocking him in the air. We can also evoke this and blink it, but I want to save the blink because if he tries to blow up our journey, we can we can, at that point in time, bounce to get our journey back anyway. <laughs> um, and I'm going to use this to bounce a Kabir Crossroads, and I'm just going to sit back. Because I don't think we're in a huge amount of danger. And we're leaving up. And we have, well, we can attack with these two, but that wouldn't do anything. Okay. Man. He's got six minutes on us in terms of clock. I need to go faster. But we can block, so that's good. Rioters, we can chump block. We can acid that, depending what we draw. His board looks good, but I don't think he has any attacks. And his last card we're going to assume is a Tribal Flames. And we draw another Mole Drifter. I think I'm just going to fire that off. And see what happens. Yeah, these Mole Drifters are really making the difference here. We've kind of slugged it out. Um, we'll go ahead and attack in the air. And I think we may just chump the Rioters with a Seagate Oracle. And we'll still leave up this. Though, if, had we played the Mole Drifter, that does put him on one turn. Here's a nut. Oh, Core Skyfisher. That's a good one. But I do have the Journey. And he can sack the other Journey. So we may want to find a way to Reality Acid his guy. 
So he's got defense. He's definitely got some defense. We've got enough life. And he's kind of hit his stride too. He's got another pride mage. So now he can swing pretty hard there. Yeah, I'm just going to block this with the Seagate Oracle. He's got two pride mages now. So I don't even know how that works. I think he can try and sack to kill this. And... He's got five attackers. We're at 15. Now we have a core skyfisher. Okay. So we can blow up his core skyfisher here and just attack him. We have four, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve mana if we want. So we could do this for five, have another five. But I think we want to do this play because our victory is happening in the air. So he's sacking to get that. So I'm now going to bounce my Dream Stalker to get the, the journey to nowhere. So he still gets his guy back. But I can now... Okay, that's fine. Because we still have a journey in hand. We don't have to use it, but uh, we can also we can also bounce back a mole drifter here. I think okay, what did he bounce? So many triggers going on. He returned core skyfisher. Interesting. Oh, I see. So he saved his guy and killed my reality acid. That's very unfortunate. Um, so I don't know what to bounce here. I was going to attack him with Mole Drifter. But now I think I'm just going to... Well, we could so we can still journey the Skyfisher. And that puts him to two. And then we can also... Two. So we're going to... I'll just bounce a... Kabira Crossroads. I was going to bounce... Okay, what's going on? Oh, it's my turn. Okay, gotcha. So that fizzles. I'm now going to journey his... I don't have the mana properly to also play a Skyfisher, so that seems like a mistake. But I am going to journey his, his Skyfisher. I tapped wrong for that. I can attack him with everybody, and that puts him to near lethal. That puts him to one. Then he can hit me for eight and maybe kill me with double. I think this is the safest play possible. I did make a mistake with the, how I tapped the mana there. That's unfortunate. I guess we could have attacked 17. No, he can deal 18 with a double. So now he needs two flyers. He needs removal. We may have him here. So he's going to try and draw more cards with the Skyfisher. And he's going to need... So he has one Skyfisher left in the deck. He's got removal. He may have to blow one of his tribal flames on our guy. So we'll see what happens. I don't think we die. He just blew up something. Tribal flames. And we're going to... We're going to go to 12. Because if we draw a removal spell, we actually win. But that happens anyway. Yeah, we're going to go to 12. So I guess it doesn't matter if we don't block. He just blew a Tribal Flames on our guy, so I don't think he ha he's going to brainstorm. I don't think... Uh, oh, whoa. Okay, we're looking good, though. So we're just going to draw some more cards here. Do I have... We, we blew both of the... We want to make sure we have enough white mana, too. So I'm going to try and divide this stuff equally. So we've got a bunch of core skyfishers. Uh, let's just bury him with core skyfishers. So I'll bounce a crossroads, play it, and I'll bounce another crossroads.
So our hand is all lands, but I think that's okay. And he's at two. And I don't think he'll have any answers for this. White. What does he have that's white? Oh, pit keeper. F6. He's going to get his guy back. Wow, we're really low on time. Oh my goodness, we're so low on time. I'm guessing he got a Kasali Pride Mage back. But he still doesn't have enough here. We have... Unless that last card's a scred. So here I'm going to block. Now he has one card left, so we're not dead. He has... We have five attackers, he has four blockers. I think we just take this and go to eight. We're going to go back up to ten. He's cast three tribal flames. Whoa, he didn't even play a guy? Okay, I'm just going to attack with all my air. He can get this back and maybe scred me, but I still think this plays okay. He does have the scred. Oh, maybe not. We'll see. This bounces pit keeper, perhaps? Maybe this is a mistake. Maybe I should have thought about this more. Wow, he does have the scred. Holy Toledo. But he still has to leave some guys back. And we lose Mole Drifter. Yikes. And we have all lands in hand. We have nothing left to play. But we do have life. He's more in danger of milling. We're more in danger of running out of time. I may have just misplayed there. I think that's, I mean, that's all four screds. So I think you go for it, but what do I know? He's got another core sky fisher, so now I think we might be in trouble. Because this is our last one. No, this is our third one. And he's got a lot of tricks he can do with his stuff that we're not uh, taking into account. He could have bounced Pit Keeper there, no? I'm not sure how many guys he has in the graveyard. Maybe not enough. Doesn't look like he has enough. I should be F6ing. I'm just going to F6. I need to save time on the clock. We don't have a lot of great draws here. Could be the case that we wanted to draw some cards. I think we're actually going to lose this game based on his board position. I mean, what could we draw that's even that good? The fourth Mole Drifter. Okay, he's attacking with those guys. I think we have to block. So we're at eight. This was a crazy game. There's a journey, but it's not enough. I think I think we still have to use it, but are we dead on board? We might be dead on board. So I think we're going to journey a flyer. And I think we're going to bounce the Kabira crossroads and try and keep him from... from winning. Man, I think I made a potentially a couple misplays here. He was able to outpace our journeys with some tricks on the Kasali Pride Mage and he actually did a great job of getting rid of our reality assets. So unless we draw something incredible, I'm not seeing this uh, working out for us. There's another compulsive research. I'm going to F6. And he may have found his uh, path to victory. Because we're definitely going into Tribal Flames range. He's had 12 cards left in his library. He's got two cards in hand. I don't know what they are. Maybe if I was keeping better track, I would know. But I don't think... We have any info on what's in his hand at this point. Mm. 
Man, these are going to be some long matches. On F6 again. He drew his third pride mage. Yeah, he's draw I mean, he's drawn so many cards. This deck really does draw a lot of cards. So, I think do I have any outs here? I don't think I have any outs, but going uh any way to bounce this? Yeah, we will not block. <laughs> If he has tribal flames, he can use it on... He could have went for lethal here, so... Yeah, we're dead. We're dead. I'm going to concede. That was a long, crazy game. But uh, we, we almost were there. We got him to two. So hopefully that means that this will be a very close match matchup overall. I think I want to cut the oracles... And the piracy charm. If you read the written portion of this, I did mention that. I think the Seagate Oracle doesn't really block anything profitably. And the piracy charms don't kill anything. And I want to bring in Hydro Blast to counter his Pyro Blasts because those are going to be really good against us. I want to bring in Reality Acid even though um, he has ways of stopping it that I have to think about. And I want to bring in Sanctifiers because it does stop his Nihilus Presence. And there is a chance that we can screw him off of lands enchanted by Nihilus Presence thanks to these. So I think I'm going to board like that. And let's go ahead and get it rolling if he's ready. I'm not. Yeah, he's ready. So we'll play first. We're going to have to play super, super fast. Uh, I think we can keep this. We don't have, we actually don't have any action for the first good while. We can cycle this turn one, bounce it. We are working up to a mole drifter. I, th I mean, we're not bouncing anything with stalker. I'm not sure if this is really that keepable, but his deck's kind of like not that fast out the gates a lot of the time as well. So I think maybe we can keep it. I'm going to lead on the island, and I think I'm going to cycle away this because we already have four mana. Getting our fifth mana. Uh-oh. He maybe kept something really bad. So maybe he kept something that was uh, really bad. I don't know what's going to happen here. Oh man. Well, I think we just gotta go ahead and play. Oh, he kept something that's not even keepable. Okay. I mean, he's got no action. This, this is gonna be really weird. It's actually, okay, he concedes there. Um, unfortunately, that's not gonna really have much to say for our, uh, our testing, but we will go ahead and keep this going. We can keep this hand. There's, there is a chance that we can screw him. And we can also missionary. Okay. On turn two. We can also spreading seas on turn two. But I want to play the crossroads first to figure out what we want to do. If he doesn't have an abundant growth, then I may just want to... Oh, he got an island. So he's probably going to cast land presence. Oh, he doesn't. All right, so we're not going to spreading seize him. We'll just play lone missionary. It's a fine turn to play. Man, that last game was so close. I think honestly, had I tapped my mana correctly, I could very well have um, played that core sky fisher out, and I think I could have won the game. So we'll have to think about that. I'm pretty sure we want both of these and I'm gonna hold off on the spreading seas he is yet to play a green source so maybe he does not have abundant growth or Nile's presence in hand there's a chance we're gonna find out he's gonna sack I may run out of time before this game is over wow no green source where is your he's just gonna play it and if he does not Oh, well, I'm going to try it spreading seas his, uh, 
his green, and we'll see what happens. This could be a way for it. Oh, it resolved? Wow, he kept a loose one. Loosey goosey. He may kill this. I probably should have played my land first. Yeah, we probably should have played our land first there. That's okay. I think we're going to hold the spreading seeds for his next green source, which he drew. And this time he drew an abundant growth. So he's pretty lucky there. Um, so now our spreading seeds gets a lot worse. But if he taps low enough, I may go for my Mold Drifter play. Nope, not going to. And we forgot this core Skyfisher can also buy him. So if he leaves up Scred, it really stops our uh, momentary blink from happening. So, okay. Spreading C's not doing a lot. We drew two more, but now we can screw him off the other colors. Maybe that's good enough. Screw him off of red and white. I guess we'll do it. I mean, we're not doing anything else right now, and I really want to make the momentary blink happen. There's a core skyfisher, so we can rebuy these things. And we still have. Whoa, we drew another one. This is absurd. So if we can blow up that land, he's going to be in trouble. He does draw another green source. But he finds Nile's presence. Okay. I really want him to tap out of that. I can also start bouncing these spreading seas and putting them on other lands. There's another skyfisher, so it's, this isn't really going to do anything. We did our best, but. The spreading seas is just cycling for us at this point. He's got way too much fixing to, to make this uh, palpable. So we can go for this now, and we also have Hydro Blast to save us from a scred. So that's an option. We can also bounce a spreading seas. Spreading seas is something else. But I think I want to hold up in case we find a reality acid. So I think I am going to go for this play. We go to. Six, five, four cards, and we draw four cards, so we're going to have to discard, but I think that's okay. And we can counter what he's going to do. Scred. Hydro Blast. And oh, we have seven exactly. Wow, I wish I could count. So now we can blow up some stuff. We can blow up his two other lands, or at least begin that. We may have to blow up whatever this is. Oh, that. So how does Bastille work anyway? It decree if it's not attached, then. Yeah, got it. Man, so many options. I think we want to get rid of these two lands if we can. We're going to gain two. We're going to take six. We can also do what we did before, which is kill the Leaf Crown Dryad. That might also be good. So we can blow up this land. He has... Yeah, maybe we do that. I actually kind of like it. So we can do it again next turn. And maybe he has Pyroblast here. Maybe I should preordain first. I don't really know. We're going to try this. Taking his domain down a notch. Oh, what is this? Doomblade. Oh, he brought in Doomblade. Interesting. Well, that's actually pretty good for him. Uh, we want both of these. I don't know how much time we're going to have to cast everything, but we want both of those. And we will attack. 
F6 through the turn. We've got four, five minutes left to win. Not very good. Ah, so that whole plan, that whole plan, not looking too hot. Okay, so we're drawing serrated arrows. I think we want to use it. He's got more Nylia's presence. I think I'm still... Uh, okay, now I'm not going to try and blow up his stuff. So we're casting what? What are we casting next turn? Journey and Serrated Arrows. Right? Yeah, I think so. We can also do the journey trick that we did before, but we have we have multiple journeys here. So do we journey the Skyfisher? The Nakadal? We're gonna have a 1-5 blocker. No, we're not. Yeah, we're gonna take a lot of damage here. You can also blow up. Yeah, we gotta pay attention to his board now. I think we want the arrows this turn. I'm not a hundred percent, but I think we do. So I'm gonna journey the sky fisher that's enchanted, and I'm gonna play serrated arrows. Still have momentary blink. We're gonna take five. We got a lot of removal, but we're running out of time. Literally and in terms of our life total. Okay, he's fishing for that Kasali Pride Mage. I'm really not good at managing the clock. There's a scred. Okay, so we'll just start shooting the Skyfisher down. And we'll F6. Oh, there's a Rioters. We're going to have to blow up the Rioters. I think. We do have more journeys here. So we have 4, 5, 6, 7 mana. We can double journey and reality asset a guy for next turn. That puts us really low. We may actually be dead to um, Tribal Flames here. Journey, journey, and we only take 2. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to do that. And we're Reality Acid on Leaf Crown Dryad, I guess. And we take two. Okay. Well, first thing we're going to do is try and bounce that. We have seven mana, right? We may want to cast Mold Drifter first, but I think I want that to resolve over something else. All right. He doesn't seem to have anything going on here. So we're going to try and speed through this as quick as possible. We may have run him out of gas. I'm not 100% sure. This time we may actually have it. I don't know. Oh no! He's got a pride mage. But we can blow up. Okay, he's got no exalted. We can blow up whatever he frees. I think we have to blow one of these reality assets right now because he's going to blow this up. We're going to bounce our guy to get it back. I guess he can blow it up in response. And he can attack with with his own guy. Man, this kind of sucks. I think we need to draw a card. We have Hydra Blast for his thing. I want to see if this actually works. I want to test this out and see if Spreading Seas will actually screw up his land. Because we, we were talking about this. We're going to see if it actually works. Oh, it does work. Okay, so we're just going to play this and we're going to attack. 
and we leave up momentary blink and Hydra Blast. We can actually kill the, the Pride Mage too before it even sacks. So that's actually cool because we can minus one this, blink, minus one it again. So I think I like that. And am I disconnected? What's going on? Oh, I may have been disconnected there. I hope not, because I only have three minutes to try and finish this. It's the weirdest match ever. We could have played one of those acids, but I don't think we need to. Oh, Core Sanctifiers. Does that do anything? It blows up Nylea's presence. Let's do it. Who cares? <laughs> and I don't think I played a land. I will play one. All right, so he's kind of in trouble now. He's got only islands and forests. He actually is color screwed. No, this one can produce whatever. But he doesn't have, um, he does not have, ugh, I'm losing my mind. He does not have domain, like, really triggered, so. I don't know how many of his enchantments he's used. I'm just going to F4 everything. If he attacks, I will take it. What is this? Another guy. Another guy. That's pretty good. It's actually really good. Oh, man. This is so crazy. Okay, so he can get two guys back. Man, what a draw. Nice find with the brainstorm there. Man, he can really just screw us up. We could have another momentary blink, though. I think I just want to ping the Skyfisher right now. Because we put him in a pretty tricky spot if he... Because he needs to blow something up to get a... He's got a, He can get a Skyfisher, a Rioter. Man, now I think we just have to leave the... Uh, let the Pride Maid trigger resolve. And we have to let that resolve. Man, this is crazy. So we draw another Mole Drifter. I think we actually sacrificed this one to make him make a move. We can also attack here, right? But he can send this in. I think that's okay. Scred doesn't get our Dream Stalker. He's going to take it. Okay. One, two. We want to leave up some white. One, two, three. There we go. And we draw a Dream Stalker. What does that do? Oh, it does a lot because we can now blow up his lands. We can blow up his guys. But I don't think we do it this turn. We have one minute and something seconds. I think we're just going to hold. I'm not 100%, but I'm running out of time, so i got to do something. Maybe we should have blown up his lands there. But then he's got free reign. Okay, he's attacking. It's a 4-4. Four, four. I can bounce with my Dream Stalker or block. Yep. He's going to scred. I'm going to try and Hydro Blast. I may time out here. Should be interesting. So he's sitting on tribal flames. He has only two basic lands. Okay. So I can blow that up. Kind of curious to see what he's going to do if I just attack him. So he can get back a core skyfisher, but then I can kill it. I can kill it either way, right? 
I gotta. I just gotta play. I can't even really afford to think. Oh, he has reach. Oh crap. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so much for that. So I think, man, I think I'm just gonna lose for time. I was gonna bounce the sanctifiers. I still think I do that, even though I I punted there. Man, this is really horrible play. I apologize, guys, but I kind of just got to go as quickly as I possibly can. I'm going to F6. I think I'm just going to time out. I shouldn't have F6. I should have F4 there because I still have the momentary blink. I'm not sure what I can do here. He can sack his guy, Tribal Flames, to me? Oh, to himself. Okay. Oh, he concedes. Okay. I'm not sure if he conceded because I was going to time out or if he actually didn't think he had any outs there. I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to you later. I'm actually a little confused because the Pride Mage died there. <laughs> I, my mind is like scrambled eggs right now so i hope you guys enjoyed hopefully we can make sense of what just happened there and we'll talk to you guys later we'll do some more matches for sure